Good afternoon. We'll call this meeting to order. This is the Board of Zoning and Adjustment, New Orleans, Minnesota, Thursday, April 27, 2017, 4 p.m. Uh, a few items on the agenda. First one is election of officers. So what are your wishes? I don't even tell you who the officers are now. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I don't even know who the officers are now. You're a secretary. <laughs> I make a motion. The Larry is vice chair. <laughs> and I'm I chair. Would, I would make a motion to keep current as what we have right now. I'll second that. Yeah, we have to ask if each one is willing. Are you willing? I'm willing to serve. Yes. Are you willing? And I am. All right. So we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Second, I approve the minutes from the December 21st, the December 1st, 2016 meeting. I'll make a motion to accept minutes as published. Second. And a motion and a second, approving the minutes as presented. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. Item three, public hearing. A, consider the application of Josh and Lindsay, help me with this, Delugi? Delugi. <laughs> requesting a variance from the city code to allow a, a fence to be located three feet from the side property line. The required setback is five feet. The subject property is legally described as Lot 8, Block 142, North of Center Street. The street address is 19 North Franklin Street. As you can see in your packets, it is for a variance request for putting a fence um, closer than five feet to the alley right of ways. Um, this is a, a T alley. Um, as of right now, the the Leggy's um, property is 55 feet wide. The garage, as you can see on the sh on the pictures, is two feet into the required f five foot setback on the south property line. And they have a current fence located in the backyard on the west property line approximately. That fence is approximately on the property line. And as I've stated, they'd like to put uh, both fences within three feet of the property line um, coming off the existing garage and then continuing back with a 45 degree where the alleys meet and then continue the, uh, the fence to their um, northerly property line. This is a public hearing. If anyone would like to speak on the matter, now is a good time. Just go up to the podium, state your name. Sure. I'm Josh Delegge from 19 North Franklin. How's it going? Um, do you guys just kind of want an explanation on kind of what we're looking at? Or I don't know what kind of information they, they give you guys to look at. They gave us a picture and, a, you know, a few pictures. And a part of your request. So give okay. us a vision of what you Sure. Want. So um, as Elwood had said, we have a, well, we have a, a garage that sits six feet off the edge of the alley. Um, three feet into our property is what's considered the right of way. So the, um, the setback would put that eight feet and that's on two sides of the property so it, and it runs like right next to where we have some trees and it just takes a huge chunk out of the yard so we were hoping we would set um six feet off the edge of the alley so three feet into the setback instead of five on both the sides where the alleys are to uh, save some space uh not have to cut so much of the trees down just give the or you know more room you, you plan on keeping the trees at this point? Yes. Yeah, we'd like to keep the trees for sure. And we have four of them. They're pretty big. Um, they're really nice trees. And the eight feet off the alley just gets really, really close to, uh, to cutting into them. You don't think this will cause a problem for snow removal? Actually, I'd, not at all. Um, we don't have anybody that plows our alley. Um, the... Uh, especially that back one where that fence is right right on the three foot setback it must have been there about 40 years it's been there quite a long time doesn't look like anything's ever disturbed it mm -hmm. um the neighbors i'm sure the neighbors you know um would agree that it would it would help you know just make it look nice and tidy there's some overgrowth back there i'd like to clean some old lilac bushes and some junk out too and just kind of make it nice and tidy along the fence on both sides 
And that other fence has been there for a long time. A long time, yeah. Right. And that new fence would go on the inside of that other fence. Yes, sir. Yep, it would the, be, um, you know, closer to the house. Um, so if you visualize it, the alley, and then three feet off is that that fence that exists. It would be another three feet in. Mm. So it'd be okay. six feet, and it would be like that on both sides. It's it's quite it's quite large. If if you yeah. see the picture, there's a lot of room. I drove by there this morning, and basically you can't see right now the way it is because of the trees are so far out. You know, mm -hmm. trimming the trees would help immensely. Um, and if I'm looking at it right, you know, staff stated that you're going to put the corner at a 45. Correct. Proposed. So. Yeah, there's a 45 back there now with that existing fence, and okay. we'll, with that moved back, we would continue that 45. If I can ask a question, what uh, what would the height of the fence be? Uh, a six foot. We're going to do the six foot by eight foot panels that you get at Menards. I guess question for staff, do we have any concerns with utilities or anything of that nature? Um, any of the it's stated in the fence order, any easements or utilities, it's at the uh, owner's cost if they go okay. over the top of it Okay. to be removed if they have to get in there. Have you checked for utilities at all? Yep, I have it. I had it all marked out. Okay. Um, there's really not a lot on the side that runs. There's really only two little spots. Um, one would be really close to the garage, and the other would be where there's a pole at the other end of the property. Um, okay. Yeah, I think the gas line comes in off of that that alley close to the garage. Yep. So that run perpendicular to the fence okay. coming in. And there's electrical on that other side that yeah. comes in. Are there a lot of people that use this alley? I mean, it didn't seem... <coughs> I Not really. I guess I would probably just... Uh, the people that live on Residence. the alley yeah I mean all the garage backs back up to the alley have we had any questions or concerns from any of the neighbors you have or we have we haven't received anything none one of my one neighbor is really supportive would he actually would help me he's gonna use his trailer to haul the you know the utilities out there the poles and the fence panels and stuff so. it would clean it up a lot yes it would <laughs> definitely and looking back here, we've granted a couple before. There's a, been know. a couple granted before, correct. Plus, it's not, like I said, it's not on a major street. It's just off in the alley. Both sides run into it. Correct. Here. So. Yep. Any other questions for comments? We have a motion to close the public hearing then. I'll offer a motion to close the public hearing. Second. We have a motion to second closing the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Oh, what are your wishes? Staff recommendation? I guess I'm leaving it up to you guys. That's All right. I'd make a motion to approve the variance. I'll second that motion. Okay, we have a motion to approve the variance as requested. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now this will go to the city council meeting, which would be next Tuesday. Okay. So it would probably be a good idea for you to stop by there and... That's all we can do from here. My case. Go from here yeah. to there. Is that at four o'clock as well, or four thirty? Four thirty. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you guys. For coming. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Have a great day. Uh, we go back here. What else do we have? Anything else? Is there anything from the staff report? I have nothing. Oh, Dave has anything. Yeah. No further business, and this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>